What's up everybody, Gearbreak here. Today we'll talk about the future of Xbox One after the Series X launches. Before we get started, please help out the channel and hit that like button and subscribe. Your feedback is appreciated. So let's get to it. Someone in the channel asked if the Xbox One will still get support after the Series consoles launch. Let's go over a few reasons why it will get support, at least for the short term. Short term being one plus years. Xbox One is still a solid 1080p gaming console, although not at high FPS. As we'll talk about later, devs can create new content for Series X and Xbox One without much fuss. Microsoft wants to keep the installed base happy and move them forward over time. This along with backwards compatibility ensures that people will stay in the Xbox ecosystem and will continue to spend money. This is all part of what's known as smart delivery. As an example of the commitment Xbox has, Halo Infinite is not a series console exclusive. My second point has to do with the similar architecture of the Xbox One and the Series X. Unlike the 360, which was power PC based, Xbox One has a very similar x86 architecture to the Series X. If you look at the evolution of the original Xbox One, the console has used the same type of AMD APU similar to the Ryzen CPUs. My point developing for the Series X is fairly similar to the Xbox One. In fact, the latest dev platform can create games for both the Series X and Xbox One. Here's a sip of the video of Larry Herb talking to the Dirt 5 dev, Larry Springate, about the dev platform. So Microsoft have developed uh, something that they call the Game Development Kit, which is uh, a new replacement and actually is going to be utilized on original Xbox One and Xbox One S and Xbox One X. Uh, and that's how everything is going to be developed together, a, a unified product development all the way from Xbox One up to Series X, but making the most of the hardware features across the board. This smart delivery approach that they call it illustrates exactly what I'm talking about release for the Xbox One now and have it ready for the Series X when it launches. This is all relative to when Xbox One X launched and they had a Xbox One enhanced feature. Again, making it easier for users to upgrade and continue using their library of games is key to keeping and growing the base of Xbox users. Everything leads to selling games. So let's wrap this up. Xbox One will not meet its end anytime soon. In the end, Microsoft wants to grow their user base and keep their existing base moving forward. Xbox wants you to upgrade and give you tantalizing reasons to upgrade, but in the meantime, they want you to buy more games and stay within the ecosystem. And that's it. Leave a comment below and share your thoughts on this topic. Thanks for watching Gearbreak, and we'll see you on the next one.